hello to all so in this video we will find the inverse of a particular 3 into 3 matrix so let's take a matrix m which is equal to 1 2 3 0 1 4 5 6 0 all right so this is our 3 into 3 matrix now we need to find the inverse of this matrix and uh, there is a standard formula you must remember that m inverse is equal to adjoint of m by debt of m okay so this is the formula to find the uh, inverse of a particular matrix so first uh, find the determinant of this matrix so hope you know uh, the process to find the uh, determinant of the matrix so i am doing here so debt of m is equal to so take this one and find the determinant of the minor matrix corresponding to these elements so for that what you need to do is just uh, close this column and close this row and the four elements correspond to the minor matrix or 2 into 2 minor matrix so that is equal to 1 into 100 0, 0, minus 24 and uh, for the middle term we need to take negative sign so minus 2 into uh, minus 2 into 5 for the I mean 0 into 0 and this is 5 for the 20 and uh, we will having minus sign minus 20 minus 20 and the last term plus 3 into 3 into 0 into 6 0 minus 5 minus 5 and this is equal to minus 24 plus 40 and minus 15 so this is equal to 39 plus 1 so our determinant is equal to 1 okay so we have found out the uh, determinant now it's time to find the adjoint of m so how to find the adjoint of m okay so now we need to find the adjoint of m so follow this process so first uh, you need to take the inverse i mean uh, transpose of this m so let's take m transpose now we will get a particular matrix like this 1 2 3 0 1 4 5 6 0 okay so we got this uh, now uh, we need to find the determinant of minor matrix corresponding to each element so in the same way how we found out the determinant using the minor matrices we need to find out the minor matrices so for that what i am going to do is so i am taking to, i am going to count or evaluate for each and every element for one what is what is the uh, determinant of minor matrix i am going to uh, cut out for the one element and this is the corresponding column and this is the corresponding row okay and the remaining four elements are one six four zero all right so we need to find the determinant of this and similarly for the second element that is zero just cut this column and cut this row and the four elements which remains are two six three zero okay 2, 6, 3 and 0 and similarly uh, you just find out for each and every element so what we get is uh, uh, for these 5 we will get 2, 1, 3, 4 alright and similarly here for 2 for this element 2 uh, we get uh, 0, 5 uh, One minute. Uh, yeah, zero five four zero, and uh, here we will get uh, one five three zero, and for the last uh, the six uh, we get uh, one zero three four, and similarly here we get zero five one six. And here one five two six and last 
1021 all right so now form a matrix corresponding to determinant of these minor matrices so let's uh, form a particular matrix uh, it, it's not called adjoint of m but uh, we will call x so this x is equal to determinant of these all minor matrices that is minus 24 minus 24 and for this we will get minus 18 and for this 5 and 0 into 0 4 into minus so this minus 20 and for this particular minor matrix we get a minus 15 and this is minus 4 minus 5 4 and 1 1 this is 1 ok ok so we got a particular matrix which is formed by the determinant of all the minor matrices ok now multiply this matrix element each and every element with this format that is uh, plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus ok you multiply each and every element with this particular values so we get the cofactor matrix ok so remember this so we get the cofactor matrix um, which is equal to minus 24 18 5 20 minus 15 minus 4 minus 5 4 1 ok so this is our adjoint of m now uh, a inverse or m inverse is equal to 1 by det det of m that is equal to 1 1 by 1 into multiplied by this particular matrix minus 24 18 5 20 minus 15 minus 4 minus 5 4 1 so this is our m inverse so in this way we need to find the uh, inverse of a particular matrix so let's uh, uh, recall or revise the process again so first uh, this is our matrix so we have found out the determinant of it and second thing is to find out the adjoint of m and to find the adjoint of m the process is like this so first uh, we will take the uh, we will take the transpose of that particular matrix original matrix then after taking transpose we will find out the determinant of the sub matrix or minor matrix corresponding to each and every element and we will form another matrix corresponding to that so this is the matrix x which is uh, formed by taking the determinant of the minor matrices and if we multiply each and every element of matrix in this fashion plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus for example like a uh, plus 1 into minus 24 minus into minus 18 that will become plus 18 and this is plus 5 so after multiplying uh, each and every element with this particular sign we will get the adjoint of m so after getting adjoint of m uh, we will uh, divide it by uh, determinant of a and uh, remember one important point uh, if uh, if there is uh, if the determinant is equal to 0 for a particular matrix m for that matrix inverse does not exist inverse do not exist inverse do not exist if debt is equal is debt not equal to zero then only inverse of that particular matrix exists 